Hi, my name is Mitchell, and this is me and my wife's YouTube vlog, Eminem Simple Life. And today, I was going to tell you how we built our wooden indoor shower. Okay, before we get started, I just want to say that this video is going to be just about the building and waterproofing of the shower and I'm not going to address the PEX plumbing or the styrofoam insulation behind the walls or the plumbing of the drain. That's going to be addressed in a different video. Number one, obviously the shower head and the shower nozzle. That uh, you can buy in any anywhere pretty much. Home Depot, Amazon, whatever style you like. So to have a wooden shower you need wood. So I bought uh, your regular 2x10s, 2x8s, 2x4s. Next you're going to need a type of waterproofing stain. And uh, this was a big deal. We just had different types of uh, advice from all over the internet. So uh, what we got was Helmsman. It's a spar urethane. It's for indoor and outdoor. Make sure it says outdoor. Helmsman says like extreme temperature or extreme condition weather conditions. Then you're gonna need obviously a stain brush with the stain. And this, the stain brush, the softer the bristles or the softer you get, the more smooth it will look on your wood. Number four is plastic wrap. So like painters use when they're painting, a thick, as thick as you can go, the better. So we just got a 25 foot by eight foot plastic uh, sheet, a big, huge plastic sheet. Five is underwater rubber tape. Now we got this at Home Depot. It's, it looks like black tape, but it's really thick. It's like a thicker duct tape and it's for, you know, waterproofing stuff like that. Six, is sandpaper and a sander. You don't have to have a sander, but it will save you a lot of time when you're sanding boards and sanding stain into the boards. So a sander is what we used. And you have a rough, a rougher grade sandpaper for removing, you know, removing stuff. And then you're gonna want a very soft 220 sandpaper. And that is for your stain. So when you're doing your stain work, you're gonna be using the softer sandpaper. Number seven, you're gonna need a drill and screws. Number eight, you're gonna need a skill saw and a jigsaw most likely. Number nine, you're gonna need silicone and a silicone gun. Number 10 is the last thing. That is a shower bottom. You're gonna need a drain or like a, fi we have a fiberglass shower bottom that uh, just will collect everything and drain the water. So those are the 10 things I have on my list. Okay, so step one of building the wooden shower is the shower bottom has to be put in. We chose a corner of the room so it have two walls and then you have to make sure that the bottom is level. So we used wooden shims to uh, bring up the each side so it was level on the bottom. And then we had to build a, a protruding wooden wall to have three walls on all sides of the shower. So we built a wooden wall and leveled the bottom for step one. For step two, we waterproof taped the bottom of the shower to the walls. So we made a a rubber tape skirt around the entire bottom so any cracks or anything would just have extra protection and we did it also where the floor meets the shower so any moisture anything is kept out of the cracks and kept from seeping into the walls behind step three is making sure that you have all your uh, plumbing and pipes inserted so you want everything plumbed through the walls before you cover up uh, your shower. And another thing to keep in mind is make sure that your handle and your nozzle uh, and the spout where the shower comes out, you wanna make sure that it is sticking out far enough 
because if you don't have it protruding enough, it will be hidden behind the boards and you won't be able to connect it. So we had to make sure that our handle stuck out at least an inch and a half, um, both the handle and the top of the shower because it was, uh, these are thick boards. So Step four is folding your plastic wrap. So we bought a huge sheet of 25 feet by eight foot and we folded it in thirds so we can make it as thick as possible and then we rolled it all the way up so it'd be easy when we brought it into the house to unroll it into the shower. Step five is installing the plastic wrap and since it was rolled up we brought it inside and we started at one end and I forgot to say but we did use a stapler for this and uh, we stapled only where the tops are and only behind where there's no water. So we stapled down the front of the shower behind the boards where it's not going to get wet and we only stapled the tops. If you make a hole anywhere in the bottom of the plastic wrap it, uh, it could get moisture in there and leak to the back. So you have to make sure to be very careful and only staple or make holes in the very top. For step six you have to make all your cutouts. So once the plastic is in the installed you're gonna have the shower handle and the top of the shower where the the head of the shower comes out so you're gonna have to cut out that we also had a window so we had to cut out the windows the shower handle and uh, the top of the shower and anywhere you cut you got to make sure that you tape it back up with the waterproof tape. For step seven, it's making all your uh, your cuts. So the tops, you just gotta cut them to the right length. And then the hardest one is the, the jigsaw cuts for your handle and for your shower head. Step eight is staining and sanding. And this one's probably the most time consuming. Uh, to stain using the urethane, we have to uh, sand everything smooth from the beginning and then you put with your soft stain brush you put uh, a coat over the whole board and then you have to dry it and it takes on the instructions it tells you how to dry it for four hours or it depends how hot you have it we had it inside our house then once it's dry you have to take it out and sand the whole board because that's what gets the the stain to really set into the wood you sand the whole board with your soft sandpaper, your 220, and then you stain it again. Then you dry it. Then you do that process three times. All right, step nine. So once you've stained all your wood, it's time to insert it into the shower over the plastic. So you just have to be careful. Uh, when you're putting the boards in, careful of the bottom, your skirt down there. You just want to be gentle so you don't rip any holes because if you have a hole, that's going to leak into your wood. So you got to be careful with the bottoms. And then another thing is when you're putting the boards in, make sure, just like when you were stapling in the plastic, make sure you only screw the boards in the top because if you screw in the bottom, it will create a hole. And another thing to be very careful of is make sure you do not screw into your plumbing. I did that. So make sure when you're screwing in the boards, you know where your pipes are because you'll screw a hole into the plumbing and it'll shoot water everywhere and you'll have to go back to Lowe's and rip boards out. For step 10, since you inserted all your boards, now you just put in your shower head. You screw that in, it should be pretty simple. And then you screw in your shower handle. And there should be instructions, they're not very hard to put together. Okay, so for the bottom of the shower, uh, I made a border with smaller boards using the same techniques with sanding and uh, staining with Helmsman. Make sure that the border that you build is pretty tight and good measurement because that is what pushes your bottoms of the boards uh, flat. So if you have any warped boards or anything that sticks out kind of, your border can push all the boards flat. The bottom piece, just slap boards. So it's, it's rested on supports from the back side. And it has plastic risers to keep water flowing the whole time. 
And it's really, uh, it's got a lot of drips because it's, I put a thick layer of Helmsman, so it's a lot of, a lot of glue on the bottom just to be safe because it has extra, extra water and moisture beneath. And then I just made it so it goes in like that. in good to go okay step 12 is once you have everything pretty much put in and put together what we did is we siliconed all the cracks so all the cracks in between the boards and even along the uh, the bottom where I put in the border we siliconed all those just to make sure that water is just not getting back behind the boards it's just another precautionary Okay, so now step 13 is the final step is putting in the, the shower curtain rod. So we just had an inch uh, dowel that we bought at Lowe's and uh, I bored a hole into this piece of wood. I didn't go into the plastic. I kept it pretty shallow. And then I bored a hole into this window frame and I put the shower curtain in and then silicone the crack. Bought some shower curtain rings at Ross and put in a shower curtain and uh, you got a shower. Okay, so now that I've gone over how I built the shower, I just wanted to add uh, a last few words about some precautionaries. Biggest thing is make sure you have a fan in your bathroom. You want to be able to have something that sucks out the moisture you know so it doesn't build up and create mold i use styrofoam to insulate the walls just because i thought it was better for moisture you don't lose too much heat last but certainly not least we bought a squeegee so make sure it's kind of fun it's just you know the price of beauty is after you shower we just squeegee the water off the walls just to be safe i mean you just squeegee everything really quick just to keep the moisture level down so those are all our notes and all our, our uh, experiences from building the shower. So I hope you try it and you learn along the way and you have a beautiful shower like us. Uh -huh.